When it comes to mastering your brand, yes, your wisdom is in your weird. And let me share with you why. Think back to your entire life. What people were the ones that you just loved to connect with, that you wanted to be with, that just put a smile on your face, and you really learned so much without learning so much? Normally, it was probably people who were a little outside the box, who weren't following the rule book of life, who were a little quirky, had a little oddities to them. I mean, I can remember my French teacher from uh, sophomore and junior year in high school, Mr. Moore. He looked like Where's Waldo. Weird cat, but such a cool dude as well. And so all these years later, I still remember him. Why? Because there was wisdom in his weird. And there's wisdom in your weird too. It's why our weirdness is actually the best way that we can communicate and really connect with other people. So when it comes to mastering your brand, you've got to add your weird into it. You've got to add that quirk into it. Now, does it mean that you go cray cray on it? No. So if you love Harry Potter, you're not having a Harry Potter themed brand. Nope, you're not eight, and this is not your birthday party. But you can talk about, you know, Harry Potter vernacular. You can reference it. Like, I reference The Simpsons an awful lot. So you can use that in little ways to help really train and teach your audience and connect with them. So why is there wisdom in your weird? Because it's your weird that is the pieces that everyone can relate to. Because guess what? We're all a little weird.